So you're an OBS and you want some effects to appear, but only when you get a bit shouty. Let's get into it, baby. First off, you're gonna need two plugins for OBS. You're gonna need Spectralizer and StreamFX. I'll link them below. It's just a drag and drop into your OBS folder. If you can't figure that out, you're doomed for, you're doomed for the rest of this. Once those are installed, open up your OBS and we're gonna make a new scene. I'm gonna call this audio key. What we're setting up in this scene is basically a key for the effect. So it's gonna trigger off audio, make the scene light up a bright color, and then we'll use that bright color to mask out the effects we want to hide and show. The first thing you need to do in this new scene is set up your microphone. You don't want this to be the same as the microphone you're using in other scenes because we're gonna apply some effects to it which makes it sound weird and then we'll mute it later. So you, you never hear it, but it's just there for the maths basically. So let's add in a new audio input and we'll call this mic key. And we're just gonna need to apply some basic effects to it. Right click and go to filters. And we're gonna add in an expander. This is basically gonna hush down all the little sounds. So it's only gonna pick up louder sounds, which is what we want because we're gonna be shouting. So the only thing you're really gonna be tweaking here is the threshold. And you kind of want to set this where you want the effect to start kicking in on how loud you want to be. I want it probably around minus 10 decibels because that's where it's about to hit the red down here. Next, you're gonna to want to add in a spectralizer. So add source, spectralizer. This is the little plugin we installed earlier. It's pretty fancy. First, we're gonna select our audio mic key. And now you can see it's reacting as we talk. And you want this effect to fill the whole screen, basically. I've played about with this and got some settings that work well. Bar width looks good, about 50. Bar height, you want it to fill the whole thing. So we're gonna go 1080. Spacing is good as two. You're gonna to want to turn off automatic scaling so we can have a tweak with more settings. Scale put up to about 1.2 boost you want it to be about 10 and then gravity leave it leave it at 0.8 sure and then you're going to want to increase the detail a bit just so it fills the rest of the screen up so 37 now we just want to add a simple blur to this bop 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 add filter blur and to put less stress on your system and to get the effect working well put on the dual filtering blur area and just crank it all the way up to 16. now it's not gonna look like anything's happening until you get super loud and then it goes white. But of course we don't want this weird expanded microphone effect to be audible to the stream. So if we click down here on the little cogs and go to advanced audio properties, we can find our mic key and just turn it off on all the tracks. That way it's not gonna go out to your stream. It's not gonna show up in any of your recordings, but it still works as like an effect. So close that and then you can also just hide this layer because you don't need to see it, get rid of it. Now it's time to add in the effects that you want to appear with your audio. For this example, I'm gonna be adding in some speed lines for when I get loud. So I'm just gonna drag that in and make sure to hit properties and loop it, because it's only like a, a three second file. And I, I need it to loop, otherwise it's just gonna disappear. Now, because we're working with a black and white image and I just want the white to appear, I'm just gonna apply a quick luma key to it. So right click, filters, and we'll add here, a luma key. By default, this is gonna look quite garbage because it does it like quite hard. Um, so we're just gonna we're just gonna smooth out the effect. And you can see that looks a lot better than the default. Jesus. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make a new group. Add new group. And I'm doing this because I may want to add more audio effects as I go on, and I don't want to have to apply it to every single layer. I can just apply it to this one group instead. Much easier. So much easier. So the effect we're gonna need is a dynamic mask. Right click, effects, add dynamic mask. For the input source, we're gonna select our audio key scene. And most of these values are not gonna need to change. What we want to look at is all the way at the bottom, the alpha channel. I, I could explain how this works, but it's just, it's just nerdy math <laughs> uh, So just, just copy this. Base value, set to like minus four. Red input value, five. Alpha input value, one and multiplier 10. The only thing you may want to tweak on this is the base value. Basically, the lower it is, the louder you have to be for the effect to start showing. So that combined with tweaking the expander we added earlier, you'll make it work for however loud you talk, basically. So now you can see the effect's only gonna show where we get loud. However, you can kind of see the luma key's gone a bit garbage and the effect kind of goes really quickly so we can't 
catch our breath in between shouting. So first need to fix the Luma key, copy our camera and paste a reference to it and just drag that into the group and put it at the bottom. And now you can see the Luma key is looking great. This is just because dynamic masks and Luma keys don't quite work together. So you need to add in your camera into the group as well if you want it to look super crisp. Uh, and now to address the issue of not being able to breathe in while being loud. We just need to go back into our audio key and tweak one thing. On our spectralizer, we just need another one. So copy it, paste a duplicate. This makes a new spectralizer so you're not tweaking the same settings on each. And we're gonna go to filters and we're gonna add in a render delay. And I'm gonna tweak this to about 200 milliseconds. So this way we now have two spectralizers appearing and disappearing, but one's slightly after the other. So you can sort of see the white will linger a bit more then when we had it off, it disappears a lot quicker when we have it off. But when we have the second one on, it kind of lingers a bit more. Meaning that when we're talking, we can catch our breath a bit more in between. So yeah, that, that's audio keys. Using, using Luma masks, keyed off audio. It's a pretty handy tactic. You can sort of use cinema techniques to pull off other, other weird keys. I've done overlays that tweak depending on how bright your camera is by using the same sort of blur methods. So have a play with it. Um, let me know what you've made, you know? Send me send, send me your on Twitter. Um, I'm curious what people do. Um, maybe you have better ideas than I'd have. So 